Ahoy there, cruisers. We put together a list of the nine top biggest cruise ripoffs that are going to take your money when they don't need to. And the first thing that is not a ripoff is to subscribe because it's completely free. So make sure you subscribe to our channel right now. So the number one ripoff is bottled water. Oh my gosh, this costs an absolute fortune on board. I can hear the cash registers as you bing, said bing, it. Bing, bing. Yeah, I mean, you can get some packages where you get like seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 bottles. But when you add this up, oh my gosh, you're paying like triple what you'd pay on land. Yeah, we've been sucked into this the very first time we cruised. We thought that you couldn't get any free water on the ship, so we bought lots and lots of bottled water, which cost us an absolute fortune. So what we recommend you doing is taking your own portable water mug or bottle or whatever, and you can use the free fountains on board, which are usually located in the buffet section, and tap water on board is completely safe as well around the ship. Ripoff number two is transfers. Yes, these can also cost a fortune. So when we say transfers, we mean transfers you booked with your cruise line, to and from the airport when you begin and leave your cruise and transfers oh transfers transformers, transformers. robots in your eyes i can't talk and when whilst you're in port as well so from the actual port to say the middle of the center and we found it's much often cheaper just to do it by yourself either by booking a taxi or using local transportation yeah the top tip here is to just research before your cruise research your embarkation and disembarkation ports and those all important ports that you're visiting to see if there is any transport options such as local transport and if you are taking a taxi look at the average price of a taxi just so you know and you're not going to get ripped off yeah there was one recent time when we were in our baltic cruise where a transport was offered for 25 dollars per person return when there was an actually a tram station just at the bottom of the ship which cost about two euro return each which yeah. is like one tenth the price we did our research though so we knew this but we uh the onboard announcements made it sound like there wasn't a, any other Absolutely. transportation so don't be fooled by that just do your research beforehand so you're nice and confident when you get there of what you're gonna be doing that day. So ripoff number three is port excursions. Yeah, we've talked about this one a lot. They are very expensive and if you book through the cruise line, they will add an extra charge on to that so that they get a little bit more money and it can cost fortune, can't oh it? Oh my gosh, we've seen them 10 times the normal price of what you could do yourself. You just have to make sure if you're gonna book with a third party company, make sure that they're reputable, offer insurance just in case your port's canceled and that they get you back to the ship as early as possible. But we tend to do it DIY, don't we? Yeah, we do. Have a research with your port when you're researching them transfers <laughs> to see what there is to do in port. And we find a lot of the time we use local transport or local taxis and do things by Just ourselves. Grab an Uber, it's so much cheaper. Exactly, yeah. Rip off number four is onboard shopping. Yeah, you can get ripped off here, guys. We've seen it plenty of times. So we recommend that you cross the check your prices on land. So we'll usually see a watch or something nice in one of the shops or perfume or aftershave. And we'll double check on Amazon just to see how much it is on there to see if we are actually getting a real good deal or not. Yeah, we like to compare it with what you can get online and what you'll see in land as well. So have a look in some of the ports as well if there's something in particular that you like. Yeah, especially in the Caribbean, things like watches, jewellery, uh, tobacco, cigarettes and alcohol are usually much cheaper off the ship, even with their great deals. And don't get taken away with these $10 sales that they say are fantastic sales, bargains, bargains, because guys... They're not. It's usually products that are low quality that you can actually get cheaper at home. And you'll also usually find that you're recommended specific shops by the cruise line of where to shop. Don't be taken in by this either. Even if you're given a voucher or something or a free drink, prices usually are slightly inflated because obviously the cruise line wants to make money. So rip off number five is the onboard spa. Yeah, let's be honest here. Spa treatments are super, super expensive. They have a really big markup and a really big price tag. Yeah, but top tip is that you can actually get some real good spa treatments and things for on good offers, especially towards the end of your cruise or on quiet days like port days, you'll usually find big offers, half price sales on haircuts and massages and thermal suite. So do look out for those if you really do want to book a spa treatment. Rip off number six is the casino. This isn't the Hunger Games, guys. The odds may never be in your favor. Cruise lines have different rules to the land so the odds aren't as good and you can end up spending an absolute fortune without even realizing how much you're 
understanding and don't let alcohol influence you either because that can really impair your judgment yeah don't be taken away with the free sessions or the free classes in the end they want you to do the free session and then spend some money don't they you've heard the old thing the house always wins yeah so just make sure you are aware of what you're spending and if you do enjoy the casino, just set yourself a budget. So rip off number seven, single supplements. Yeah, cruise lines will charge you double if you are a solo traveller taking up a room that is made for two people. So a big tip here is to look for a cruise line that offers solo cabins. Our favourites are Royal Caribbean and NCL because these offer solo cabins without that single sup single supplement that's a lot of s's and it's great especially norwegian have an amazing lounge where you can get together with other solo travelers as well in their own cool studio section which little studio cabins that are just made for one and obviously you don't get these big massive supplements on top as well but of course some solo cabins can be very expensive depends if it's busy so if they are look at a cheaper cabin for example a guaranteed inside cabin which is the cheapest type of cabin usually on a ship as it may actually be cheaper than getting a solo cabin in even with that uh, extra supplement rip off number eight is the onboard photography again like the spa this can be super expensive guys why not just take your own photos and whilst you're getting photos with big backdrops in the background you've got the real scenery outside go take the real photos but yeah again if you do want to buy these because you're not really a big camera person look out towards the end of the cruise for special packages which is usually half price or whatever. Yeah, you can sometimes find these as well before you sail Yeah. Um, on the cruise planner of your cruise's website. So it's if you know you're gonna be buying the photo packages, it's good to get them before you sail. Also, don't feel pressured into buying a photo. Even if you've had your photo taken, you don't have to. You know, you can take the photo, have a look at it, and then see if decide later if you want it yeah and if you do choose to do the photo package make sure you get as many photos as you can yeah, make the most of so it. every opportunity you get loads of photos if you're going to pay you may as well come away with like 300 photos you <laughs> doing random position. stuff yeah <laughs> random fake pictures and yeah. like, like we saw some funny people after me lying on floors and stuff rip off number nine is activities yeah these can be very expensive and they can quickly add up we're talking about things such as bowling go-karts, zip lines, escape rooms, extra paid shows, simulators, simulators, IMAX cinema. Exactly. These all add up, particularly if you're traveling with a family, you know, if you've got two kids and they want to go on every single one of them activities, that is going to probably cost you more than the cruise. And they're much more expensive than you would find on land. So to save it and do those things on land, because seriously, guys, they're going to be so much cheaper and you'll save an absolute fortune and make sure you put a cap on your kids cards as well so they don't go spending an absolute fortune on the onboard arcades as well yeah it's all cashless isn't it so we'll just be swiping away yeah you're in the casino spending <laughs> all your cash they're in the casino spending all with no limit in the wake... casino in the arcade in the arcade <laughs> you wake up the next morning you see your bill you're like oh my gosh i've spent three thousand dollars and the kids have spent a thousand dollars on the arcades <sighs> Gosh, yeah. yeah, so just go to guest services and ask them to put a cap on the kids' spending. So we hope you enjoyed our nine rip-offs. If you've got any rip-offs yourself, please pop them in the comments below and let everybody else know we might feature on an upcoming show. If you liked this video, you can support us on Patreon. Just go to patreon.com forward slash cruisewave. Big thank you to all our Patreon supporters, particularly our cruise captains, Amy and Tris. And make sure you give us a subscribe as well. Hit that red subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when we upload a brand new video. That's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising! cruising.